I'm going to show you what my inventory looks like a week before my first craft fair selling 3D prints. And you are going to tell me what I'm missing. This is High B 3D. Buzz buzz. So, if you watched my last video, which you can find here, you'll know that I am on a journey to make $10,000 in one month with 3D printing. This is the first method that I talked about and the most accessible to me, which is printing off physical models and selling them at a sales event, whether that be a convention, a craft fair, or a farmer's market. So to start out, let's talk about what is actually here. I hope that the first thing that caught your eye on this table is my Mandalorian helmets. One, because I'm really proud of them. Two, because that's exactly why they're placed here. I think that the Mandalorian helmets and this Master Sword here are gonna be great eye catchers for people who recognize the franchises to wanna come over and check out at least the helmets and get them looking at all my other trinkets and gadgets and whatnot. Let's talk about what you actually see here on the table in front of me. I'm gonna start over here. I have this cool jewelry holder that I designed, um, a Voronoi style hand with a little tray underneath as kind of a catch-all tray of, for change or jewelry or whatever. After that, I have these light boxes, which I want to print a lot more of once I do a re-up on filament. To start, I just printed off the things that I know I would purchase but I believe there is a big market for these LED light boxes, um, anywhere from Harley Davidson signs to different brands of alcohol. People love to decorate their space with the things that they love. I know that I do. And I think this is gonna be a great way to appeal to a broader audience because clearly my initial audience is uh, children and people who like to buy childish things. I'm wearing a dinosaur sweater right now. After that, you'll see I have these cute little mushrooms that I think would be great in like a fairy garden or just people do mushroom collections these days of just mushroom type things. This is actually my own design and the only design of mine that you'll find on this table besides this little toy that I'm currently working on prototyping. That's the first version in the future I'm going to make a video about the design process. I designed this in VR using Gravity Sketch. This is one of my very first designs and the only one that I've stuck with um, all the way through my 3D printing journey and I just keep printing these things. I just love them, I think they're so cute. Next up you'll see pencil cups. There's the mug over there with the articulated legs and this little takeout box. These are Mystic Mesh 3D and I, I love them. I love things that are anthropomorphized, AKA uh, things that aren't people that uh, look like people. Next up we have what I think is going to be a huge seller and I hope is because I would buy these. They are my minis. This is a combination of minis from Zoo3D and Z Bailey Designs. Let's talk about them. Hi, I'm over here now. So, on the subject of my minis, they are exactly what they sound like. They're teeny tiny 3D prints of teeny tiny adorable things, and they're cute. Just listen to this sound. So, like I said, it's kind of implied in the name exactly what these are. They're mini teeny tiny 3D prints, and just look at these things. I'm gonna be selling them by the baggie, and I think that people will really enjoy the experience of rifling through the bin to find all the different types of minis. Currently I have seven different types, and there's gonna be more to come. Hand sanitizer will be provided for that activity. Because I've got kids, and they've got dirty hands. Next up is this whole front row here uh, of long things. Whether it's dragons, which also have just the most satisfying sound. Am I an ASMR channel now? And of course, lots of snakes. And not only the short snakes, but also really long seven foot snakes that I think will also sell really well. I've got a bunch of these random little flexies like this seal 
to use up some the last of a spool of white filament. Um, these big bears, which are also meant to be attention grabbers, they're the large counterparts of some of our minis. This one I'm particularly fond of was printed with the fuzzy skin setting in Bamboo Studio, and it is just so cute. I'll give you a closer look. I'm picturing that ending up in somebody's nursery, but uh, after they buy it, I uh, don't care what they do with it. Next up is our earrings. I only have one pair of these currently made. I don't know if I'm going to unveil them at this coming event or just get more of them ready so that I have more at a event in the future. I think these are going to sell really well. I've got, um, I have them printed out. It's just very time consuming to actually put all of the earring findings on there. Next up is keychains. Everything from turtles to pigs to alligators. And I've got a few more that are currently printing. Um, I think those will sell really well because they're, they're cheap to produce and I think that people will like carrying them around. I mean, they're just such an easy fidgety thing to bring around with you on the go. Speaking of models I designed, this one just came off the plate a second ago and is the QR code link to my Venmo and it actually works. And this is something that I'm not only going to utilize, but also advertise to the other vendors at the event that I am able to make them custom signs like this with links to their payment methods or website or really whatever they want. And they will be able to send me their logo and have their QR codes custom made or just a custom sign. So the question to you, my viewer and hopefully subscriber is, what is missing? What do you feel belongs here but is not here? I have a lot of flexies, a lot of animals. I'm gonna continue to do animals if they sell well, but these are the things that I personally would buy, but I'm not everybody. What would you buy and what do you think others in different demographics will buy? That's the question I pose. Thank you for watching today. My name is High B 3 d Buzz Buzz. That's right, everybody. It was a ping pong table all along. <laughs>